At this point, I either own, have owned, or have spent an extended period of time with every single Squid Industries ballast song, except for one. But a few weeks ago, I got a message, then an email, and then... a package. The unboxing experience of the Triton is fairly standard. Squid updated their boxes a while back, and the boxes are definitely super nice quality. Inside the box, you get your trainer, wrapped nicely in the signature Squid branded pouch, and some stickers. They also sent me this little note, which is very nice. Overall, very standard, yet very pleasant unboxing experience. The Triton is made of 6061 aluminum handles, a hardened 301 steel blade, and it runs on washers. Durability-wise, the Triton will hold up about as well as an aluminum balisong should. It'll definitely get some dents in the Anno wheel chip, but that's to be expected of a 6061 alu balisong. The Triton V2 features one singular deep cut line down every face of the handle, which is a very simple yet a very effective way of adding grip. It's basic enough that it keeps the machine time and cost low, but it provides a strong tactile feedback, especially if you get the dual tone version like I have here. The Tonto Blade I originally wasn't a super huge fan of, but after getting it in person, I'll say it looks a lot cooler, especially when partnered with the lines cut into the handles. The Triton is a washer-only balisong, which means you can't crank it shut and leave it be, but at this point, Squid has absolutely nailed the washer game. If you ask me, Squid nowadays is doing washers so well that if that's what it takes to keep the prices of these trainers down, then I'm all for it. And it's even better if you throw some good oil in it, like Carbon Honey. Not sponsored. The flipping of the Triton is really good, and exactly what I'd expect from a Squid Industries Balisong. It's got a decent handle bias, but not too strong. Because of the light handle bias, the Triton is very consistent and reliable, with nothing funky that throws it off. It performs amazingly for mostly all tricks, but especially excels in things like rollovers, cherry pickers, and aerials. The consistent balance of the Triton makes it comfortable to flip, and I find myself constantly wanting to pick it up, as it feels exactly like what I've come to know and love out of Squid Industries Balisongs. It just feels so familiar, and flips exactly the way I want it to, to fit my style. I am by no means the best flipper, but I like Balisongs that are very flowy and let me flip with minimal effort, and the Triton definitely does that for me. There's no feeling of trying to force the train to make a trick happen, it all feels natural and flows exactly the way I want it to. It's a little hard to explain, but Squid Bella songs have a certain flow to them that allows them to just feel super comfortable and take minimal effort to flip. The Triton is definitely included in that, and overall, it's a great experience. Hey, this might be a weird question, but should I buy a Triton? So let's get one thing straight. The base Triton V2 starts at $135, with the inked and dual tone models being $150. This price is fine, but when you compare it to other things in a similar price bracket, the competition starts to take the lead. If you ask me, something like the Glider Arctic or the NRV Vortex would be a better value, wouldn't it? While they do have better specs and would arguably offer a better experience, both of these trainers are very hard to get your hands on with very rare drops. Mostly the only way to get them is to wait a few months or find one secondhand. Alright, well what about the machine-wise Prisma then? It's just $10 more than the Ink Triton and is available basically every week. The Prisma is definitely tough competition, not only for the Triton, but also for the Squid Trainer. Overall, the Prisma boasts some seriously impressive specs and performance, although the flipping experience might be a little odd for some people because of the extra long blade and the weird blocky handles. Okay, so it's mostly a preference thing? But what about Squid's competition with itself? Isn't the Triton just a slightly better Mako? Why not save some cash and get basically the same thing for $35 to $50 cheaper? When I first saw the Triton, I thought the same thing, but I was shocked at how much of a difference the added grip and the hardened blade made. The Triton is a significant upgrade over the Mako in terms of flipping, and the blade on the Mako bends seemingly every other time I drop it, so I would say the extra money does go a long way in this case. Well, in that case, what about the Squid Trainer? Should I just spend a little more and get that? Now that the Squid Trainer V4 is on bushings and has jimping, it overall has some better features to offer, but the biggest difference is the balance. The Squid Trainer is a lot more neutral than the Triton is, so it provides a completely different flow and overall feels way different to flip. Okay, so it definitely sounds to me like there are a lot of options, and it mostly comes down to preference and what you as a flipper feel is most important. Exactly. And because the Triton is a better option, it doesn't mean that the Mako, per se, is bad. And the same thing with the Triton when compared to something like the Arctic or the Prisma. 
It really comes down to what you like, and the Triton provides such a good and reliable flipping experience that some people might choose it over the competition simply because of the flipping. Alright, that makes sense. And nowadays, almost every modern ballad song is good in one way or another, so saying you should buy one over the other is kind of pointless, I feel. And even then, most people in the hobby will just eventually end up buying both anyways, considering how much we like to collect them. Yeah, definitely. And even though the Triton is objectively better performance than the Mako, I do still love the Mako due to its cute blade design and the how much personality the trainer has. Really, you should just buy what you like, and if a super flowy and fun washer ballad song sounds good to you, then the Triton should be right up your alley. Yeah, sounds good to me. I'll give it a shot and let you know what I think. Alright, sounds good. See ya. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you to Squid Industries and Lucas for sending the Triton out for me to review. This video is a sponsored video, however that does in no way influence my opinions. I genuinely have been flipping the Triton a ton since I got it. Everything I said in the video is my firm beliefs. I do believe there are some options that give you better performance for the money, but the Triton is just very reliable and just fun and enjoyable to flip, so I like it a lot. If you're interested in seeing how this entire video was made, including filming, editing, animation, color grading, the whole thing, please consider supporting me on Patreon. It gives you access to a whole breakdown of this entire video, as well as getting videos early and supporting me. Again, thank you so much for watching, and thank you to the Squid team for sending out the Triton for me to try. So yeah, that's about it. Peace out.